Welcome back to the show. We were talking about broken bones in our earlier segment. And, of course, if you get one, unfortunately, uh, you will have to go and see a doctor. We also see doctors for many other things ranging from our annual physical to concerns about that mole. You don't know if it's, a, you know, maybe a cancerous, God forbid, or anything. I mean, there's so many reasons. And when you go to a doctor, uh, you do expect them, obviously, to give you the highest level of care. But how much tech do you want? That is becoming a big question for doctors. A new study shows that that uh, Canadians more and more want to see tech integrated into their doctor's office or clinic. 60% of us would like to book appointments online. 59% would like to have immediate access to test results. And 58% of us would like online access to our personal medical records. How is the practice of medicine changing? As technology does too. We're joined now by Heather Shantora. She is the CEO of InnoCare. Hi, Heather. Hi, Tasha. Hi. So i got to say, the last time I saw my doctor for a physical, um, he spent uh, almost as much time putting data into the computer as talking to me. So I, I can see that, you know, tech is great, but at the same time, you want to make sure it doesn't take away from that personal experience. What's the right balance to strike? I think that's a huge point. I think um, you're right. The, what we've seen is over the last decade, doctors are spending more time on indirect patient care, which means paperwork and things like that, mm-hmm. which is taking away from the amount of time they can spend with patients. And, of course, that's increasing wait times. What we need is intelligent technology solutions where it can do some of the back-end business intelligence for the physician so they don't have to spend so much typing. For example, forms could auto-populate for them. It could pull fields from previous visits for them. So they don't have to redo as much work, which means they get to spend more time with you um, and more time seeing patients in general. Yeah, now patients are asking for this. I mean, some uh, younger Canadians have a higher preference for the type of personalized care you can get through tech than older Canadians. Is that maybe just because their expectations of technologies everywhere all the time anyway? Mm -hmm. Yeah, younger Canadians, absolutely. They wanted to book online. They wanted auto email follow-ups, things like that. But what I thought was really interesting about the study is that Canadians aged 55 to 70 actually wanted electronic medical record sharing between practitioners. Hmm. So they want their physios, optometrists, et cetera, to be able to share records with their physicians, making sure that they're really getting a holistic approach to healthcare. Now, historically, we would have thought they were against to that or, you know, they were worried about patient privacy, but that's not what the study's showing. The study's showing is that they want more efficiency through technology to have a more personalized healthcare experience. Now, what are the kind of technological advances that could do that? Well, that's interesting, too. The study also showed that Canadians are now open to the idea of virtual access to specialists. Ah. So So you don't have to leave your house? (laughs) Exactly. Think about northern Canada, right? Like, in some areas, it's extremely difficult for them to get to a specialist and requires a ton of travel. If we could do this virtually, think how much faster the doctors could get through their wait lines and how many more Canadians we could help by delivering virtual assessments of their condition. Yeah, and there there are cases now, too, where you can even be monitored from home and doctors can keep a ta- keep tabs on you uh, through apps and other means that patients can interact with their doctors outside of, I guess, regular office hours. What will that do to the practice of medicine, though? Uh, does the doctor have to be available 24-7? No, because most of these things have the business intelligence built into the back of the technology. So, in other words, things would only get flagged for the physician when it was outside the norm. So, in some ways, it actually makes their life easier. So, when a a patient comes in and you haven't seen them for two months, you have to get caught up. And that can take a lot of time and a lot of data entry into the computer. If you do some of these remote monitoring, things like that, that data is there for the physician. So, you don't have to spend the time getting caught up in the last few months. He can see it or she can see it right there in front of her and know where you're at and what issues you need to talk about. Now, one of the controversies recently was that uh, some of the software doctors had in Ontario included things like patient vouchers, uh, promoting certain types of medicines, and that's now been taken out and cleaned out of the software that doctors have. But what are the risks of tech um, in terms of steering doctors to certain types of practices and how can we mitigate against that? Great question. Um, Our privacy laws do a very good job of that. So you can only look at aggregated data, 
anonymized data. You can't look at individual patient data to select those decisions. I think with them making the decision to pull that out of electronic medical records, I don't think that we'll see that again. I think it was um, the first time it was brought to market. You know, the market was very clear that that's not something we're interested in. So I think I think that the technology that we'll use, the privacy protection around patients, will be sufficient to make sure that we're really just having technology in the best interest of patients and not um, with other corporate purposes. And uh, that's probably the best route to go. I want to thank you, though, because your company does do a lot of this innovative stuff. Heather Shantora is the CEO of InnoCare, which seeks to bring technological solutions to connect doctors and patients in a more tech-savvy way. Thank you so much, Heather. Thank you, Sasha.